guys, Math Math Red Show here. Thanks for clicking on that button. Uh, today we're in Hugo, Minnesota at the Blacksmith Lounge in Broster. Uh, it always smells amazing at this show, by the way, because of that. At uh, their Labor Day car show. Tons of cars at this show. This is the biggest that this show's ever been. They've got uh, nearly, uh, nearly 500 registered, and then more showed up after that. So <laughs> this is the biggest this car show's ever been, and it's always a big one. So. There's a ton of cars to look at today, hot rods, street rods, classic cars, rat rods, a lot of amazing cars today in this episode, guys, so thanks for clicking on that button. Without further ado, this is a great show, I love this show. Let's get in there, let's see some cool cars. Thanks for clicking on that button, let's do this. Alrighty gang, here we are. This show's amazing. There's a grassy green knoll over there. There's way more cars over there too. We're gonna start over here towards the back of the show and work our way that way with this beautiful GTO here to start with. Ooh wee. It's a 67. Here's a 1942 Lincoln Continental. It's got a Mustang 302 in it. Man, I love the interiors when they when they do them like this. I think this car's been restored, but like it still looks all original. That is so nice. Man, there's a ton of cars here again this this year. I've been to the show before. There's always a million cars that come to the show. I love it. Look at this. <laughs> Little dude buggy there. That's amazing. <laughs> the interior. It's like velvet. <laughs> This is great. How could you not love a good noon buggy? This is a fairly unique looking one too here. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Look at that windshield on this thing. That is definitely got to be some custom work. <laughs> it's a really fun car. This is a 65 Mercury Monterey. Man, this car is, uh, this car, this car show is so massive. It goes all the way down here. Goes up and down this aisle over here, all the way back here, like I said, over the grassy knoll. And there's just a ton of cars over that, too. Well, I'm gonna be here for a while. This is awesome, I love this show. 1959 Biscayne. You know what I gotta do with these 59s, right? Who knows what my next shot's gonna be. Boom. Just love the back the way they designed the fins on these 59s than the Chevy models anyway. <laughs> Almost looks like a uh, Transformer. Transformer's eyes and his eyebrows. He's looking backwards at you. I apologize, my brain goes weird places sometimes. Oh, that's so nice. Really nice Chevelle there. Oh man, what's he got in here? It looks beautiful. It's a 66 Olds 442. Look at that. Big old V8 in here. Yeah. 
Here's a 37 Dodge. Here's another GTO, 67, original engine. A nice GTOs here today. There's a 1960 Imperial LeBaron. <laughs> Got the flags out there. It's like a presidential car here, right? <laughs> These cars always look like they're smiling to me. Got his pearly whites out there. All chromed up. <laughs> it's really nice. 55 here. Never get tired of looking at the inside of uh, 55. Bigfoots here, like a family of Bigfoots. Bigfoot, bigger foot, biggest foot. Apparently, he's the ref. It's a 34 Ford Tudor. Here's one I don't think I've filmed before, a 1960 Chrysler Saratoga. Toga, Toga. <laughs> Look at the tail lights on this. It's incredible. Here's a 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner, 440. Automatic. It's a 62 Oldsmobile Starfire. Look at this car. But I gotta go talk to this bull park guy here. Look at this. This is incredible. Holy cow. Better safe than sorry. Look at the lines on the side and the chrome on the door there. <laughs> in 61, they only manufactured the convertibles. Okay. And they manufactured about 7,600 of them. Basically, Oldsmobile's answer to the four passenger Thunderbird. Okay. It's got the sportiness with the bucket seats, the console. Yeah. Such a cool car. I was talking to the owner. He said there was like 46,000 of these types of cars on the road, Starfires, but um, not as many convertibles. 7,000, I think he said, somewhere around there. And then uh, only about 100 something of them left on the road. So, so this is a restored vehicle, but restored to original. 
And I think you said these have a 394 in them. A high compression, 394 high compression engine. Oh, here we go. Little motorcycle fiddling by. 394 high compression engine, which was, he said, uh, unique to these vehicles. Really cool. Always fun to see a car you haven't seen before. I like the uh, way they did the front here. They've got like a, look at that. That's cool. You don't see that too. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I'm talking about like the two levels of the front end there. What a cool car. Yeah, good looking charger here. Another nice 55. Chevy truck. Another nice Chevy here. The 65 Chevy Impala. I love the color on this. This car is immaculate. Thirty-two Ford Roadster. I was thinking about. I have one. But these roadsters look like they'd be fun cars to own. I've had some requests before on my channel to film some of the uh, the later 70s models that I come across. Uh, you, you just don't see as many. That's why I don't film them, but when I do see some that are really nice, I'm happy to film them. <laughs> this is a 76 Ford Thunderbird. Look at that. <laughs> Thunderbirds. <laughs> These are cool. It's on Dixie. Who bought the The GTO. The Judge. 669. Stuff on the sticker here. <laughs> I love when owners still have this information from when they bought it. I don't know if this is a one owner car or not. Could be. She got 10 years old, 20, 10 year old pins. And then um, Robbie starts. <laughs> yeah, another nice GTO there. And a Pontiac Le Mans here. Nineteen fifty nine Ford Fairlane Galaxy five hundred. <laughs> cars are massive. Little 
fourth Thunderbird there in a 31 32 Ford pickup here. Sixty-three Impala. Got the four-speed. So nice. Love the hood too. Look at this hood. few more Fords tucked back here. Here's a 57 Fairlane Sunliner. Stuffing cars all the way over the edge over here. Unless he's trying to get out. Sting right here. 1964. Here's another 64. The Pontiac Catalina here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I do have the windshield trim. Oh, you're fine. Man, there are a lot of cars here. I haven't even gotten to like a quarter of them yet. It's just this massive show every year. Man, so here's the uh, 59 Ford Skyliner, of course. With all its appendages out. <laughs> These things look so amazing like this. It's a 55 Ford Custom Line. These are cool. Chevy 2 Nova wagon. Nice Chevy Nomad next to it here. Uh oh. So 55. There's a 69 Dodge Super B. You shot that again? Uh, Super Bs. <laughs> there she is, the old Ford Edsel. It's 
a uh, 58 Edsel Ranger. Of course, these cars have an interesting history because they didn't they didn't do good, but it's still fun to see them. I'm always excited to see an Edsel for some reason. Look at the push buttons on the steering wheel there. That's incredible. Do it! Do it! <laughs> Yeah, this one's got some patina on it, but that's fine. Just makes it more original that way, right? <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Man, they needed to uh, mow more grass over here. Crazy. Some rat rod. Look at this. It's amazing. Look at this. Look at this thing here. This thing looks so cool. You telling stories? You telling stories? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Funny. Got a skunk there. <laughs> Based on a 25 Dodge sedan. Look at the color palette here. Looks like being in a candy store. Really nice 57 here, and then it looks like a 56 delivery. to see the the window up like that look at that 56 delivery here incredible shamrock delivery
the 53 Chevy next to it, 210. It's a 36 Chrysler Coupe. It's a 50, 57 Buick Caballero, or a Caballero, however you pronounce that. Some info on the car here. Man, this thing is, this thing is really in good shape. It's like brand new, look at this. Look at the view of this thing. This is incredible. The estate wagon. This is where the fuel goes right here. Fuel. No. Oh my god. This is cool. Yep. Exactly. Then, maybe the How do you like the, the top off? Something yeah. you have to do. <laughs> oh, you can. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, hey, enjoy that car now. Get it out. Yeah. Take it any younger. <laughs> <laughs> Way down and around. The 63 Chevy C10. Yeah, it's awesome. Got a 58 Chevy Impala. What's that? That's the blow off? That's the wastegate? So nice. Convertible too. This would be such a fun car to own. Look at that. Beauty. Here's a uh, 67 Dodge Dart for sale. Looks like it's in good condition. Got a 69 Coronet here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1970 Cuda. Taz sticking out the back end there. <laughs> Always love the noises Taz made. It's just like blah, 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 blah. Yeah, nice challenger right next to it here too. Good, good, good row of Mopars here. This is a 1970 Challenger. Some good looking trucks here today. 61 Catalina Pontiac. Here's a 71 Cadillac. It's for sale. Nineteen 
67 Barracuda, 340. Beautiful car. Oh, I just finally made it down here. I was gonna ask you what you were trying to Man, this is so nice. Four speed. Love this car. I love the license plate. Quick fish. <laughs> Beautiful 69 Chevelle 396. My Christmas card. Thirty seven Chevy Coupe. 871 supercharged. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, there's old Taz again. What? I don't bring good stuff. There's a uh, 47 Mercury 8. Dodge Dart. <laughs> yeah, here's something kind of fun, an old 40 Conoline van. <laughs> this is awesome. Get the mural work here. Spaceship blasting off or a rocket. Good airbrush work here. Look at the moon. See a bit of a skull in the moon there. <laughs> That's nice. It's 
take a look inside here. Looks like they got the maybe the same airbrush picture on this side. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Yes, it is. <laughs> Old St. Nick here with this 53 Chevy. I've seen this a couple times. Santa appears in my shows every once in a while just to uh, see how I'm doing. He's excited about the Christmas season coming up here, he said, and uh, getting all his reindeer in check. He's just uh, taking a little time off before before the big season hits for him, which of course is Christmas. So uh, you tell me, with this Roadster here, is this a Ford Roadster or is it <laughs> the answer of course to my last question was yes yeah <laughs> Okay. Here's a uh, 63 Plymouth Savoy. Four twenty six. Chevy. So nice. I filmed this car at the uh, Vets for Vet car show that I was at. You don't see as many of the 33s. Because as the owner told me about these, they, uh, they were used a lot in uh, circle track racing, so a lot of them didn't, you know, make it after that. So it's cool to see a 33. Chevy, like this. <laughs> you can see a little bit more of the colors in the flames today. The sun. Look at that. That's nice. Very cool car. We have a really nice line of really nice Cadillacs here. Let's just walk the line of caddies here. I figured that one would get you. You know, when I look at you, said, "Don't come in 15, me," and you said, "Oh, you know me." I thought, "Okay, he'll buy it at 15 now." I need a wider angle lens. I'm literally having to like back up to get these Cadillacs in the frame. <laughs> They're so massive. There you have it. That was a that was a, a good line of caddies right there. I love it. Thirty one Hudson Essex. This car is so nice. I've seen it before. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> That's awesome. Never seen flames coming off of the rear view mirror with a little <laughs> like a bike horn on it. <laughs> I love it. Bandit style Trans Am. I think it's a 77. Here's another one. <laughs> I turn around and look at the next car I see, and there it is. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of VWs here. There's a 73. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Here's something you don't see every day is a 1954 Hudson Superjet. Look at this thing. <laughs> Sorry about my bad puns. These are these are cool cars though. I love that you can just put the windshield down like that. <laughs> just feel the breeze and the bugs. Nice little bug here. Yeah. The her shifter. Love it. This is such a fun show. Really nice 56 Chevy here. Got the Impala logo on the steering wheel. Fifty-eight Chrysler, three hundred D. Filmed this a couple times. 
Yeah, it's such a nice car though. I just love this car. So crazy. It's still, every time I see one of these record players and these things, I'm impressed. Gonna show us how the record player works here. <laughs> Here's a 39 Ford Street Rod. It's for sale, too. a uh, 35 Ford delivery So I got a Chevy Del Rey here, probably a 58. Kind of cool to see the straight six in it. It's probably original. The 65 Mustang Fastback. 289. Oh man, this is, this is really nice. Man, look at that. Oh, nice car. Love that. But it's, uh, it's a tall ass. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, eight inch, I got an inch uh, for it. I got this for it. It's fine one. That is, uh, the floors aren't gone in, in the front. I need a big side one. Well, yeah, it's a paintless car. I bet you it's a car. Well, you get together with the bill. 61, Cadillac convertible. And my car I like it. I, I, I like the rear here. Yeah. I like the rear. I like the rear. I didn't know it's actually good. 
A few vets here. The hoods up. The 49 Plymouth Special Deluxe. here. <laughs> A double decker rat rod. <laughs> Based on a 31 Ford started with. <laughs> double decker rat rod. That's something new. I have not seen this before. <laughs> Oh man, how could you not love? Rat rods are so, some of the most unique vehicles I see are rat rods. I wonder what, what uh, song it plays with all those horns. I wonder if it's the uh, Dukes of Hazard theme maybe. <laughs> There you go. Well, how about that? Double decker rat rod. Here we go. Seven Chevelle. Looking sea cab hot rod here, man. This is awesome. Man. 
<laughs> awesome. There's a 36 Packard. I don't know if you can read that or not, but a little closer. Not the easiest uh, font to read, but that's cool. I love when I see old Packards. They just have a they have an aura about them. Though. <laughs> the old Packards do. They're cool. I love it. Nice Camaro here. Next to a Corvette. Beautiful. It's like a 58. And this is a 60, 68 Camaro. Well, I say, I never worry about it. Oh, yeah. Man, this, this show is massive. I'm, just, I'm coming around towards maybe half, maybe a little more than half I've filmed. I don't know. I'm lost. Nineteen thirty Ford Model A hot rod. So nice. Nineteen sixty three Avanti. You're fine. This section of the show usually has a lot of stewed bakers in it. I see a few. 25 stewed baker. Sixty four Studebaker Daytona. This is a nineteen sixty one Studebaker Lark. It's like a Studebaker rat rod. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen a Studebaker rat rod before. It's on a 37 Dictator Roadster Studebaker. Yeah, look at the custom work here though. <laughs> yeah. a 63 Studebaker Champ pickup. 
pretty unique. Nineteen sixty one Studebaker Hawk GT. Ford Falcon. It's a 63 and a half sprint. Sun's out, but it's nice and cool still. The car show just keeps going. All the way out front here. Cars. <laughs> My goodness. sedan delivery for sale. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. towards the end of the show out here on this side of the show anyway Pretty unique vehicle there. Pretty sure that's a one of a kind. <laughs> Look at this old Mercury here. So nice.
Nice Bronco here. Here's a 72 Datoma Pantera. <laughs> That's for sale, too. Look where the engine is in this thing. Look at that. I believe that makes it a mid engine, right? <laughs> I have no, I've not, uh, not seen one of these before. It's interesting. They're announcing the winners right now, so I believe after that a lot of the cars uh, take off. So I think I might stick around to watch some of these cars take off here. It's a nice Nova here. A 1959 Ford Skyliner. Todd and Mickey McCaffrey. Camaro. Oh, look at this. The next winner is number 248. Nice. Next winner is car number 
Here's a 1963 Plymouth Fury. Nineteen seventy two Chevy Camaro. And from that point where she would otherwise go. Sam Elliott. That's what most people say. A little bit. Everybody on the picture too and show the picture of that guy. They all say it's gone in sixty seconds. The first year, something like that. See you guys later. Take care. All right. Awards are over, so everyone's got to start going. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Get ready for some engine noise, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that.
gang. Well, as I say, especially after this episode, I am pooped. This might be one of the most pooped I've been. <laughs> this is an amazing show. I really enjoy, especially you know being here late enough to see all the cars leave. That was that was fun. So um, let me know how you like this episode, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, please like, slot. Please like, subscribe, and share the video if you can. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna travel on down the road, guys, and we'll check you later. Okay, bye.